Hi guys, welcome back. So earlier on, I made my curry powder, which I will be using to season my chicken to make some curry chicken. Now I have already, I'm putting on a glove to get my hand in the chicken, but I have already um, cleaned and cut my chicken. I just cut off the legs, cut off the ties, the wings, and then I cut the rest of the body part and then just cut them up. Now I'm getting ready to season and I will be using my curry powder and onions and garlic, which I have uh, shredded. Because when you shred the onions and the garlic, you get way more juices out of them. So I'll go ahead and I'll add my shredded onions and garlic to my bowl with my chicken that's all cut up into pieces. I'll go ahead and just use the hand which has the glove on it just to rub the onions and the garlic into the chicken a bit and then I'll add my homemade curry powder and I'm adding all of this goodness on the chicken because I want it to be well seasoned after I've added the curry powder, I'm mixing in, check it out. I'm mixing in all the powder and the goodness from the garlic and the onions into the chicken. And sometimes I do my curry chicken in the oven. Sometimes I do it on the stove top. Now I find when I do it on the stove top, it finishes quicker. And it's more like the authentic Jamaican curry chicken so I will be doing this on the stove top and I will be doing it in my wok because it gives me more surface area to play with when I put my chicken in but before I get started on the stove in the wok I am going to cover the chicken for a few minutes and just let the seasoning kind of get absorbed into the chicken maybe for about 10 or 15 minutes so I see you soon okay guys so my curry chicken has been sitting for a bit and my wok is smoking hot so I am I just put a little tiny bit of oil in the bottom of the pan just to see how hot it is to see if it's ready for the chicken because really the chicken has enough fat in it so I don't want too much oil in the pan and so I'm going to start putting in the pieces of chicken So I layer all my pieces of chicken in my wok and I make sure at the end that I scrape out all the seasoning, onions and garlic that's left in the pan. Then I have some water that I have already boiled. So what I'll do is get enough water to cover the chicken in the pan. And I pour the water in the bowl that I seasoned the chicken in just to get whatever seasoning is left in the pan. And then I just pour the water over. I'll just cover my chicken and I'll check back in a few minutes. Now here I am checking the curry chicken for the first time. And I'm just going to go through and flip each piece. That's cooking nicely. 
okay and then I'll cover it back now I have some um, Irish potato here that I have diced what I'll do I'll put my Irish potatoes in along with the chicken to cook and the starch from the Irish potatoes will actually help to make the gravy so to speak in the curry chicken that you can get to eat the rice okay so here we are with the curry chicken let's check it to see how it's doing it's getting there make on curry chicken usually we chop up the chicken so they would be in smaller pieces so they would take a, um, a shorter time to cook but this is doing good I think it's about halfway done I'm ready to put in my Irish potato cubes so that's it I'm gonna cover and I'll check back in a bit okay so the curry chicken is done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it to a smaller burner so it can take its time and simmer so the chicken can further absorb all the tasty spices that are in the pot. So I'll go ahead and transfer it to a smaller burner. Okay, check this out guys. I have ditched, dished up a lovely plate of stir fried veggies, curry chicken, and some basmati rice and lentils. And I'm going to take it to my husband. He's going to try it and let me know how it tastes. Let's go. Again, I'm going to get a, get a bit of chicken, get some rice on it, a little bit of rice and some, some vegetables. Mm. Mm. yeah okay and uh, that's it that's how i cook curry mm. chicken mm. Mm. basmati mm. rice and lentils and my stir fried veggies i mm. will be posting them in different videos so it will be an evening dinner and you'll have one video with the curry chicken one with the veggies and one with the rice so look out for them okay well done well so guys thanks a lot for joining me in my kitchen watching my videos and supporting my channel for subscribing liking commenting and sharing thank you so much for sharing because the more you share is the more people the videos get in front of and it's the more my channel will will grow and I appreciate that very much if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos because that is the only way you will get them to know about all these lovely dishes lessons from my design studio tips and tricks for the home and the garden okay so go ahead guys subscribe and i'll see you in the next video